Good day everyone! In this video series, we're gonna make a line following robot using the RoboCreate or ATX2 or also known as the ATX2 SumoBot Kit. To start, let's take all the parts outside the box and take a closer look. First, we have the ATX2 microcontroller board. ATX2 microcontroller board serves as the brain of the robot. It is capable of controlling 6 DC motors and 8 servo motors simultaneously. It also supports up to 8 analog inputs and comes up with a color GLCD display screen. Next is the USB download cable. This cable is used to connect our robot to the computer. Next, we have the chassis A, chassis B, chassis C, and chassis D. These are acrylic plates that serves as the base or the body of the robot. Next, we have DC motors and our wheel set. This serves as the actuator of the robot. It will help our robot move from one place to another. Okay. Next is the battery holder. Six pieces of AA batteries will fit in to supply 9 volts to the robot. Next is the metal scoop as the scooper of the sumo bot. For the sensors, we have the sharp distance sensor. This sensor detects an object in a certain distance. Next, this is the IR reflector sensor. IR reflector sensor detects the shade of a surface. This sensor is used in creating a line following robot. And last, we have the digital switches. This is also known as the touch sensor. This gives us value from 1 or 0 and high or low. For other parts and extensions, we have the grid plates, angle joiners, straight joiners, Metal standoff, nuts and screws, metal brackets, and a screwdriver. That's all for the parts and function of the RoboCreator ATX2. For the next video, we're going to learn more about the ATX2 microcontroller board.